Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious tres leches cupcake. Hi guys, cupcakes. today I'm going to show you how to make tres leches cupcakes. So you can make this as a cake or cupcakes. So let's get started. So this is a very simple recipe that we, uh, anybody can do. We're going to start with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One cup granulated sugar. One teaspoon baking powder. And five eggs. We're just gonna put everything together in the bowl. And then you're gonna need a hand mixer or you can just grab um, one of those whisks. It'll be a little bit harder because it does get a little tough to uh, keep on stirring after all the ingredients are mixed together. And we're just gonna mix until everything's all mixed together and that's it. No over mixing. So let's do this. And let's not forget the vanilla. And that one is one teaspoon vanilla, by the way. Pure vanilla extract. If you don't have a pure vanilla extract, you can use imitation. But I really recommend using the real thing. So I have a cupcake pan here filled with these little liners. They look like they're made for candies. Um, you probably see them uh, if you go to the store. There will be where the candy making um, supplies are. They're not, these are the regular cupcake liners. These are the little cups. See if you can see they're like shiny inside. And I'm going to use this because they're going to be tres leches. So we're going to have li liquid going in them. I have a ice cream scooper right here, which makes this thing so much easier to do. And we're just going to grab a full scoop and just pour it. Alright, so now that we have them all prepared, we, uh, you should uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees before you start doing this whole thing. So mine is already preheated. I'm going to put these cupcakes in the oven for 20 minutes. Sometimes they are done before 20 minutes, so just check they around are 18 are the minutes. cupcakes. They actually baked for 23 minutes. I went and checked them around 18 minutes and they were still kind of soft so I just left them for three more minutes and you can tell you don't need to poke or anything if you just touch it and it's spongy and it comes back it doesn't leave the, the, the fingerprint then they're good so what we're gonna do is while they're still in the pan and they're still warm we're gonna go ahead and poke them with this is just one of those um, kebab sticks that you use for meat and stuff to so just go ahead and poke it all the way through so you are just going to poke it where the cupcake liner is because otherwise if you poke it over here then the milk is just gonna come right through it I'm done poking the cupcakes I went ahead and made holes like go around once and then around once and then like one right in the middle so what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna push them to the side I'm just gonna grab another bowl you know, it can be any type of bowl it doesn't have to be stainless steel a whisker and I'm going to I'm gonna need one can of sweetened condensed milk I just like this brand, but you can just buy any brand you like. But this is a really good brand, though. Um, evaporator milk, one whole can. 
and three quarter cups of um, heavy whipping cream. You can find the heavy whipping cream where you find all the creamers, the coffee creamers, and the uh, where all the milk is and all that stuff, juices. And it's called heavy whipping cream. It's not whipped cream because it's not the same thing. So we're gonna add all of these three milks together. And if you are on a diet, do not eat this. These are not diet friendly. So we're going to put the whole sweet condensed can of milk in there. This is very thick and sticky. Just try to get everything in there. And then I'm just going to mix. You're going to know when it's ready because you are going to feel the milk um, mixture lighter. It's going to become lighter for your hand. Easier to mix. So next, I'm going to bring the cupcakes back and I'm going to use one of these things. This is, uh, I believe it's called a baster, just to pour um, when you're marinating meat or chicken or whatever. This is a brand new one. Do not use the same one that you use for your meats, please. Don't mix that up. This is a new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the milk mixture, hold it. And then I am just going to pour them all over it. It's going to make a mess and that's why I'm leaving them here first. You see how this one you can see when the milk starts going down. That's what you want. Because it means that it's going towards the bottom. It's, the milk is distributing through the So here are the cupcakes. They had been in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. What I'm going to do now is you can either use the decorating bags to put the frosting in it. If you don't have one of these, don't worry, you can just use a Ziploc bag. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold this in half. And this is just a cupcake tip, which is 1M. Put it like so. Push it down. Make a little mark with my fingernail. Cut it with a mark is, let the tip slide back in, push it again until it's secure in place. So it is secure in place now. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this cream in here. If you are using a Ziploc bag, just do exactly the same. Grab one of the corners and make a little hole in the corner of the Ziploc bag and then just put your frosting in there and this is a very very light frosting just push the cream down and we are 
we're just going to do something very simple, which is just going to go around. So here's the end result. As you can see, these are very good. Who doesn't like tres leches cake, right? So if you don't like the frosting, you don't need to put it on there. You can just use whipping cream. Um, you can just buy a tub of whipped cream and just pour a little dollop on top. You can just eat them any way you want them. It's basically your choice. You're the one who's going to eat them. So here they are. Let me know what you think and enjoy!